Well, good afternoon, folks. My name's Ian, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my shed. Last video, I couldn't even get through the door when I finished. I've done a little bit on that last last three hours. But this is a lesson. How to make your wife unhappy. Now, it's not so much as that I've brought the welder out into the garden. And by the way, that welder had two nice torches on. Well, the two welders, two torches. Now, I use quite a big torch. Uh, but... There's two smaller ones there. We'll try those afterwards. Garage. Whoopie <laughs> doo. Woof. Where did it all go? Well, that's easy. It, well, it went into the back of the car, but how do you make how do you make your wife unhappy? In one easy lesson. Well, that's easy. Because I'm about to drive off to the scrapyard and leave this lot here. Well, I will be doing once I make room in there for this lot. See you lot in a bit. I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier coming out than going in. Joe, we got Ian, we got Mark. Aaron, little Ian, and I know behind her is Coast Jed. Well, I'm going to walk right. Oh, I'm getting back to that. Hello. Hello. Let's have a route through Robert's tools. I've got my way ticket, so. Go over and see the lovely Ellie shortly. But for you lot, will it get this for a copper cylinder? Wowza! There's a scrap face for you. Oh, stroking. Nice. Copper. The size of that. It's been six foot, six foot long. Time for me to get on. Come on, let, let's see old grumpy chops. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> Go on, I'll give me, give me old ticket in now. Thank you. Hi, Ellie. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Take the time for me, Ellie. Can you strap and strap? It's all garage, yeah. Any guesses? Any guesses? 45 pounds. 45? I've not weighed it. It's uh, eight, 18 and I don't know. 80 and 80. 160. 32, 38 pounds. Drop four. Up. Oh, yes. 55. Wow. 55. Really don't weigh. So what does it weigh? Thank you very much, Ellie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not going, but I'm not going before I have a look on this back of this truck. Hello, lad. How are you? Hello, Jed. Hello, everyone. Let's have a look at them hands. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that. Want to a putty? Uh, I must be, I'm just be a pert timer. So, what are you, what are you doing now, then, lad? You're going you're home in? and tidying my drive up. Okay, Sam. I can show you on here what my drive looks like. Well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Well, looks like they're having some uh, work done here. So there's a lamp, there's a TV, there's a load of wood for my fire, and the best thing about it, I don't have to go so far, do I? Right, I'll see you in the shed. I'm picking all this wood up, so that'll be handy for the fire. Oh, look at that. It's like a shit house wrapped. Every little help, you know. And there's one. There's usually more. Can you see? One there. Another one there. Another one there. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I couldn't do that again and I tried. I've just picked three pieces up, thrown them over and they've landed on edge. Let's try that again. No. Ian, get out that skip. All right. Like I say, I need to go first from that skip, did I? So, car's empty. Need a bit of a clean. And, oh my God. Where do I start? Do I start? Oh, bollocks. I didn't take my bin of iron in. 20 kilograms, 21 pence. That's four quid in that. Uh, I know where to start. Where do we start? We start around here. We start around here. We start around here. Oh. <coughs> Reduced. Six pound down to three pound sixty. Tisky, tisky beer. So, let's put one of them on there. Uh, crack one open. Get stuck in. Yeah. How else would you open a can of beer? What have we got? Tisky. Well, what comes better than that in the past? Bear with me. Oh, quite dramatic. Quite dramatic indeed. This is this is what you call prevaricating, procrastinating. This is not getting the job done. Ah. Right, I'm getting the job done. Oh, I'll tell you what. Put all my tools together first. Right, this is I'll sort them out on the bench after. That bit's easy. That's it. Bits. Brassy goodness. Right, on the socket. So you lose sockets. Oh, in there. Right, pick all these things up because you know these will come in handy sometime. Oh, I can't, I don't bend so well. I'm on my knees. So. Hey, right. what do you reckon? Well, that's clearly. An aluminium transformer, and that—that that is copper. So that's a nice That is a nice transformer indeed. Transformers. Uh, you know, I can't remember what they call them. Uh, rectifiers on aluminium heat sink. Not actually much to that uh, that welder. My motor. Oh, I got half a reel of uh, 0.8 milli welding wire out of it. All right. I was I was told by the way. I contacted the company and they said they'd sent them away for repair and come back as beyond repair. So that's why that one got broken straight away. But I will. I will fire up the, uh, apply 240 volts to the other one in the corner of the Merkel. Right, here, yeah, in. Carry on. Whoa. Well, we're getting there. But this is going to come back to that. So the transformer is obviously aluminium wound. I spoke to Robert at the yard and he said, there are people that, you know, buy transformers off him. 
So if I take that in, I'll get like maybe low motors price, but better price than stripping it for the aluminium and the iron. So we'll do that. Right. Oh, then do pick me drink up. Oh. It's the same it's the same one. It's the same one. Don't go think of an analogy. Right. Scrapping. Obbyist scrapping, that is, because a full-time scrapper would not take the time and the effort to clean the materials like I'm doing. So because I am cleaning my materials like I am doing, I end up with a lot of waste. In this instance, plastic waste. Now, I'm fortunate in that uh, the municipality that I pay all my tax and rates to well, you know keen on recycling we've got uh, a blue bin for paper we've got a green bin for food waste garden waste and we have a brown bin that takes plastic and glass and tin so I can utilize that to my advantage ish there's an ish there because uh, only got emptied yesterday and I'm literally going to fill it today and they only come every fortnight so I I think I'm what I'm going to do I'm going to fill it with all the plastic I've got around here and then take it tomorrow to the recycling center that has a herd plastic recycling receptacle I can't say that receptacle bin Recep uh, uh, a herd plastic bin receptacle 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 there we go got it there in the end honestly i've only had one promise uh. so i'm changing track now because what i'm going to do i'm going to say well there is a a flux capacitor in there I need to do. But now I brought all this plastic home and I brought my TV home, which is full of plastic. So now I need to change track. I need to work on all my plastic. This is hard plastic, but it's got an aluminium ferrule at the end. Uh, so, get me snipped. Things you try to do for YouTube one handed. That can go in the bag to be taken later. That can go with the rubbish. Throw one with the rubbish and I'm not done the end of it. Just an handful. And if I get time, I could strip one of those old torches. So, what happens now is that's filling up with herd plastic, put all that herd plastic in, and that can go to the recycle centre tomorrow, that means I have to take the plastic around that, which means I can't do what I was going to do tonight, because I'm going to be doing that, ah, the joys of scrapping, so if I am going to the tip, dirty hands, look at that, if I am going to the tip tomorrow, with the plastic, it would be rude not to uh, strip this. It's dead simple, Stanley knife. Straight down it. Oh, don't do that. So, wouldn't it? It'd be rude not to. Look at that. Now, isn't that lovely? Oh, well, folks, well, I have to tell you, I'm winning. But I better be doing more ways than one. That don't look the bestest of things coming over. And I've still, still got things to do. And boom, just look at that. Let's see it from the, the missus's perspective from the window when she leaps out. Doesn't look any different than it did last night. Winner, winner. Right, the only problem is I've got a few things to 
put in the shed, that, 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 and the welder. It's gonna rain, definitely gonna rain. See you in a bit. Wow, it's now 6.30 in the evening, so 6.30 p.m. I've had me, me, me food, my tea, my dinner, whatever you wanna call it. We've got Saturn and Venus and the moon, all nice in, uh, in a line. It's a crystal clear night. I've got a plane over there. So that means it's gonna to freeze tonight. So I'm gonna put the chimney up. I've still got some stuff to put away. I've still got a welding machine to put away. Uh, oh, we've got some stars coming up over there and over there, but less of that. And uh, let's settle down in shed. Well, we're stopping in here. We're gonna uh, get this fire going, I think. A little bit of a, you know, a fire lighter on the subject. No, oh, an old uh, rubbing two bits of wood together. Not in this day and age, not in my age. Just fire lighter, stick it in, get it lit, get it running. Right, get some of that in. Then we've got some cans to throw in afterwards. Wow, it's uh, it's only say it's only seven p.m. or so. So, but it's a crystal clear night. You can't see the stars, but I can, and it's a crystal clear night. So we've come out with the iPad, and we're going to put sky view on. Right, and there we go. Straight away, according to that, we've got the space station over there. If we could point this up to right, where's Mars? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the moon? Well, there's the moon, and there's Piskies, the fish. So, as I said, Saturn, Venus. Right, over there we have Orion's Belt. Come on, Orion's Belt, where are you? There's Orion's belt. Oh, so I say, there's Orion. The belt's in the middle. Uh, just underneath the middle of his belt, going down towards his sword, is Pleiades, the star cluster. Over there, we should have the great bear. Oh, no, it's Gem Gemini, the twins. But the great big frying pans there, so that's the great bear. Where's that? Uh, there we go. <sighs> you do realise I'm flat on my back here trying to do this. Here is the ram. Right, let me orientate myself. Well, as interesting as that is, and I could stop out there all night looking at the stars, it ain't getting any shit done in the shed. Or oh, shit in the shed done. Shit in the shed done, or shed in the shit done. Right, over there. Right, so, we paused a little bit of doo-wop. We have opened another can of tisky. And today we went to the yard. Ah, what did it weigh? What did it pay? Well, the price went up for mixed carry scrap to £215 a tonne. Well, that threw me figures out because I was working on £200 a tonne. So I initially said 45 and Ellie, you know, Poo pooed the idea, so I thought, well, prices dropped, so I went down a bit when actually the price had gone up. So, 45, I worked too far out when it was an extra 15 pound a ton. So, it would give me, oh, what were we, were we 94 kilos, 162 kilos, so I call it 100, 250 kilos. Oh, well, that made the difference. Not too shabby, £55, not a great deal. But sometimes space is worth more than money. And uh, I've got my walkway back. Uh, what I've not got is... So what I've not got is a clean workbench. How could that happen? That was like, that was like almost clear, like... Last time I slept, 
I know it ain't. Oh. And yet I'm supposed to be doing that thing, you, uh, whatever it is, that flux capacitor. <laughs> it's not going to happen tonight. I can promise you that. Right, Ian, I've got another hour of tidying up to do before I can go back outside and admire the heavens. Right, Ian in his shed. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it to the end, that is. And uh, I'll see you over the weekend. Take care, everyone. Good night. Oh, well, I tried. But I failed. Well, it's not a big failure. I can at least see my bench. But I uh, have a good way to go yet before I can uh, strip the uh, flux capacitor. So I reckon I finish me uh, grand reserve. Have a drink of a uh, Johnny Walker. Listen to a bit more. Do up, and then it's definitely bedtime for me. See you lot over the weekend. Good night again. <laughs>